My name is David Stewart and from St. Catherine. I'm in grade six. I'm 11, uh, I'm 12 years of age. <laughs> Okay, David. Why did you decide to enter this fight? All right. I thought it was a fun game, a fun, a fun competition. But first, I thought it was a game. But no, I know, it, I know it's serious, it's serious it is here. Yeah. Okay. All right. How did you manage your time between schoolwork and practice? Uh, schoolwork and practice. Mm. All right, no, I don't really do schoolwork because I have the spelling bee, so I just do spelling bee. All right, yeah. And so now, now when spelling bee is finished, I can go on to do the schoolwork. Okay. So tell me now, what techniques did your coach use in order to help you while preparing for the competition? Just study the spelling book. And study and study dictionary words. Okay. And how did your family help you in preparing for this competition? Say so sometimes if I'm like doing anything that if I'm if I'm like idling, they would say go and study uh, you know parent job, yeah. The job for the parents. Okay. What was the line for your next word? What goes through your mind? Pardon me? While waiting in line for your next word, what goes through your mind? I just want everybody telling me that I must focus. Focus on one. Don't, don't look in the crowd or anything. Just focus on the word that I'm going to get. Yeah. Okay, good. What would you like to become in the future? I would like to become a doctor as, or a soldier. Soldier or a doctor. And what have you learned from this competition? I've learned many things. <laughs> All right, I learned that anything you want, you must don't give up. You must don't give up, and all all that I know, I know, I know, I know because my mind, yeah, I decided to enter this competition because. It's mainly about the words. I like to learn new words. How did you manage your time between school and practice? Between school work and practice? I manage it quite easily sometimes. It re it's really hard, but I manage it quite well. And what are some of your most challenging moments while practicing for this competition? The most challenging moment um, when I when I'm getting the word wrong and I have to spell it over and I get it wrong again. It's very challenging. What techniques did your coach use in order to help you while preparing for this competition? Uh, she used like when I got the word wrong, she spelled the word. And then I spell it after, then I spell it again. How did your family help you prepare for the competition? They supported me a lot in the competition. They helped me. Some of them, my aunt, especially, she helps me in some of it, in some of the pronunciation of the words. While waiting in line for the next word, what goes through your mind? What word I'm going to get? This is a hard one or an easy one. So it's best for me. What would you like to become in the future? I would like to become an executive chef. And what have you learned from this competition? I learned that that there are many words that come from different origins and not. The words how they spell is not how they are pronounced. My name is Kamara Weber and I attend Harrow Primary Infant School and I am in grade 6. Okay. Come on, tell me, why did you decide to enter spelling bee? Because I was a good speller in my class. Okay. And how did you manage between your schoolwork and practice? How did you manage your time between schoolwork and practice? I took time off from school and went to study. 
What are some of your most challenging moments while practicing for the competition? I the final words in this Bible book, book and learn to know unseen words. Okay. What techniques did your coach use to help you while practice while preparing for this competition? She told me that anytime I do not know a word, I should ask for the meaning, the origin, and the sentence. Waiting in line for the next word. What goes through your mind? I should ask everything about the word. What would you like to become in the future? A pediatrician. And what have you learned from this competition? No matter what, I should always be proud of myself. Um, my name is Delroy Fong. I attend Arden High School. I'm 13 years old. When did you decide to enter the spelling bee? Well, um, see, you now it's my last year. I have no more chances after this, so I just decided to enter. And I wanted to see if I could expand my vocabulary over more. Okay. How did you manage your time between your schoolwork and practice? Um, it's just like you do your schoolwork, you, like, you divide it out into parts, like you have a time management. You can write a schedule for yourself and everything. Um, I would put the schoolwork over on one side and like divide the time into halves so I can time myself on what I do. Okay. What are some of your most challenging moments while practicing for this competition? Well, mostly it's if I'm in a training session and I get a lot of them wrong, I just feel worried but then I remember that it's not the real time as yet so that's one of the most challenging moments so far. Okay. What techniques did your coach use in order to help you? while preparing for this competition? Well, the general techniques, um, listen before you spell and think, and you must always be courteous, yeah. How did your family help you in preparing? Um, they encouraged me all the way, and they, sometimes if I slack off, like on studying, they would um, kind of scold me, so they would push on my encouragement back. While waiting in line for your next word, what goes through your mind? Mostly, it would be um, concentrate, think, focus. What would you like to become in the future? Uh, I'm not sure as yet because there are a lot of jobs there that are left, so I'm not sure. Okay. Alright, and what have you learned from this competition? I've learned that you can manage your time properly by using it. And the opportunity that comes, you mustn't waste it. I'm still young. How did you manage your time between your school work and practice? Um, it was quite difficult in the first part, for the first and second year. But my mommy helped me because we planned a timetable and we decided when was spelling and how, mu how much time we would spend on spelling and how much time we would spend on school work. So we, had, we actually created a timetable for the spelling season. What are some of your most challenging moments while practicing for this competition? Um, I have to say getting some of the words wrong, especially when you know the word, and it's like you're trying to remember the word, but it's not coming. So that's kind of frustrating, because you want to remember the word, and then you eventually get it wrong. But as my coach always says, it's better you get it wrong now than at the finals. What techniques did your coach use in order to help you prepare for this competition? Um, basic techniques, we, he told us, Reverend Archer told us to just review the words in a 24-hour period and he told us that don't get flustered by the mistakes because the mistakes are blessing, blessings in disguise. So he just told us to review the work in, 24 hour, in a 24-hour period and we'll be okay. Okay. While waiting in line for your next word, what goes through your mind? Um, I'll have to say, what's my word going to be? Do I know this word coming up? Am I going to remember it? Because sometimes you do know the words, but you can't remember it at the time. So I'm wondering if I'm going to know the word. Do I know the word at all? Or will I be able to get it right? Well, who do you like to become in the future? A doctor, a gynecologist. Right. And what have you learned from this competition? Um, determination, strength, and focus. Because when I first entered, I panicked 
quickly. I didn't know the words, the ones that I got wrong. And instead of actually thinking through them, I was just like, you know what, let me just get it over with and I spelled something. But over the years, I've learned that, you know, it's really about focusing on your word and spelling your word right one at a time. As Mr. Archer always says, you're spelling against yourself.